Hey guys, it's me, Saskamer3, and I'm here today to do an opinions video on the new Webkins update, codenamed Webkins X. Now, for those of you who don't know, Webkins X launched about three days ago. Uh, of course, that's that's the time of the recording. By the time you see this, it'll probably be a couple more days old because it will take some time to edit, I know. It is supposedly the next step in Webkins, and it's meant to change the entire feel of the site and how everything works. So I played around the site for about 45 minutes, taking notes, recording it, and I was going to see what I could scrounge up and to make an opinion video on it. And so my opinions might change in the future. My opinions on shipping has definitely changed. My opinions on the Sonic fan has definitely changed. Those are just what I thought back then. So one of these days, I might have completely different thoughts about this subject. So anyways, let's go ahead and get on to this. And I think we should start off with the positives about the site. Now one of the best things that I find is that the house map, it's all updated. It's now, I mean the text is a little too big, I will admit, but now when you click on a room, you don't go directly to it unless you hit the jump button, which that is so convenient because every time I, may, I mean to click the arrows, then I accidentally click on a room and I jump to that room. My only issue with the house map is that I think it's a little too zoomed up. I think it could stand to be smaller, but we'll get into that. There's a lot of stuff that could be smaller in the site. Now this is probably just a tiny little thing and probably just me that likes this, but it's the pet order has been fixed. Okay, I have like 180 pets on my account and it has always been like right in the middle, like at page, I don't know, 13. It would be like some of my old pets and then have my newest pets that I've been adopted and they were, they were always messed up. They were messed up for like three years, and they finally got it where you're, the newest pet you've adopted is, uh, my notes, <laughs> the newest pet that you've adopted is right there at the front, and the, the, your first pet that you adopted is all the way at the back. I like the pet order being fixed. It's been bugging me for years. Thank you, hands. Do you remember how the doors were just kind of there, and there weren't really like any bottoms to the doors? Well, now you can see um, the doors that actually go to the walls, not the transparent doors there's actually a bottom floor texture and I think it looks pretty cool uh, it's not just nothing anymore it's not just like a little piece of gray it's actually like a textured tile or stone tile I think it actually looks pretty cool I think that's nice little details I like the little details in the site when going to another room the loading for that room is so much faster and when you get there it's not just everything popping in well it does but at least it pops in so much faster now they entirely changed the things to do menu. It's really, really wonky. But what I do like is that there are quick shortcuts to the three most visited places. And that is your room, the arcade, and the W shop. You guys know, like if you're designing a room on Webkin's World, you go to the W shop, buy two items, X out it, place in the room, go to the W shop, buy two more items, place them in the room. You, you do that. At least that's what I do. So the W shop shortcut right there is pretty helpful. It doesn't save that much time, but it's, it's just more convenient. And I, I I'll always go to the arcade. I got nothing to do. I just click the arcade, click the arcade, click the arcade. It's like I go back and forth. Sometimes I'm even in the arcade and I hit the arcade button. It's like, oh, I'm already here. Now there is a rumor, I believe, or it was confirmed on Webkin's News. My notes keep blowing. Stop. <laughs> I can't exactly remember. So was right now I'm going to say it's a rumor. My big confirm on Webkin's News. If you want to go through the articles and dig up all the stuff about Webkin's X, feel free. I don't feel like doing that. Um, one of the things is that in a later update, I believe, you could move doors, which that is going to be very helpful because the doors always be in the wrong place. Like, you just wish, I wish I could place a door here. I wish I could place a door here. I will love and welcome that addition so much. And if Gans is actually doing that, then thank you. I have wanted that for a while. Actually, I believe in the adoption video, I mentioned that. Or a friend did. I don't know. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I like the pet demands. I think it was kind of cool. You know, for the family points, I do like the family points, by the way. It rewards you for playing the game, and I think that's really nice. It's a way to keep people interested in your site. But the demands are sometimes kind of silly. Like, it was, right now, go. You have like two minutes to play a game. Or, I want new clothes. You have to put something on me within two minutes. It was don't know it was nice to shake things up but it kind of would be annoying like if you were right in the middle of something it's kind of cool feature I, I do like it okay now I guess I should get into the negatives 
and everything and sadly there are more negatives than positives so let's start the long list shall we one of the biggest issues i have is that the entire site is slower loading rooms is fast the rest of the site is slow i don't know if that's just me and i will take some of it off from the recording because i was recording the screen capture does slow down my computer but it's still even when i was using the site when i wasn't screen recording it still seemed pretty slow to me like when i i click somewhere and it took a second or i'd start zooming it would take like a, a whole second to start registering my commands and i i don't know if that's just because webkins x just came out they're still ironing out the kinks i'm not sure but that's that's one of the things now here's another negative is that your pet will randomly call your name and um yeah it's it's kind of weird like i gotta feel like i'm just gonna be in a video like adopted you but what kids are just gonna scream my name it's gonna be like shut up i don't want the world to know my name stop saying my name i thought this would have been fixed earlier and maybe it's a bug maybe it's meant to be like this but there is a giant window glitch and my friend's been having the same problem so I know it's not just me. And that is when you open up Webkin's World, the window is huge. And only in my room is the dock actually where it's supposed to be. Everywhere else you have to scroll back and forth and it's really weird. Overall the site is just blown up too big. Like you could just shrink it down to a smaller window and it'd be fine. It's like, I can't film an adoption video or something. If I have to keep scrolling back and forth, it'll, it's just, it gets really annoying, especially when you have to drag things, like you put in wish tokens in the wish machine or berries in your preservatives from Drummelberry Fields. It gets really annoying, and I don't know what to say. It's just, I hope that this is a glitch and they will size everything down and fix it because the window is just ginormous. You know what I just said about the window being ginormous? Well, at times, believe it or not, the dock is an issue. And even when I'm playing a game in the arcade, the dock is still there. Like, it should disappear when you're not going there. That's what it was like before. And it was convenient, because if I'm playing a game, I don't need to see what my pet says. I don't need to see their hunger or help or see what items I have in my dock. No, I'm going to be focusing on the game. Now, what I find, especially in the my room, is that the screen is more blurry. Now I know this is because of the new zoom feature where you, you can set your zoom, which that's also another downfall because you, it, every time you go to a room, it puts your zoom too far in for my taste. I like it more zoomed out. The screen, like I know this is to prevent pixeling, but it just, the screen was just so blurry it, with all the zoom features. It's like, I kind of would rather have just had the two zoom options because if the screen is gonna be this blurry anyways, like I don't I don't want it like that. It's I'd rather just have two zoom settings than have a big zoom setting to have everything blurry. Hey, that's that's just me though. Speaking of blurriness, I was running into quite a few graphical glitches. You know when you load a room how it loads like one tile or two tiles or something? It, it loads it like a tile at a time. And you know, that's not a bad idea. Except some things weren't loading at all. I don't know what's going on in the coding. They just, they refused to load. I even waited a whole minute and everything and they just would not load. It, it was really, really weird and I'm hoping that this will get fixed soon. Now they're planning to put the pet animations back in. They said they were going to. But in the meantime, when you sign in, you know how your pet normally wiggles its tail or it gives you a kiss or something like that. Now it just stares at you very creepily because there's no coding for the animation. And he just sits there and stares into your soul. It's just like, come play with me. Come play with me. One of the other big downfalls is that, you know how you go to your My Pets and you can select them? Well, this time you can't see their food, happiness, and energy. All you see is their giant heart and their face in their name. That's really it. I mean, yeah, you still have their certificate and their biography if you want to read that again, but there's the, the, the giant heart. It's it's like, I don't want to know about their heart. I want to know if my pets are in bed or if their energy or happiness, hunger, whatever. I want to know if all my pets are fed. It's like, I would like that there. 
which I am going to bring in up another thing with the biography is that pets no longer have birthdays. Their birthday is the day you adopt them, which I think is bull. Because let me explain this. What if you just like have four pets you need to adopt and you adopt them all in one day? They're all gonna have the same birthday. Why not just give them a random birthday throughout the year? It makes them a little more unique, I think. And it just makes everything more spread out. So not like all the pets are bun uh, bunged together because a lot of my pets I adopted the same day. Because like I go out, I buy like four webkins, and I come home and I log them all on, or or I got a package of like three webkins, I log them all on the same day, or some I even just didn't log on for a while and then I logged them ten at once, and it just makes them all stuck together in a sense when it comes to birthdays. I mean, it's not a big thing; it's just a little nitpick. Now, I'm gonna say this, the pet meters are kind of funky. Like, my pet was in bed, you know, rejuvenating its energy, and it was getting tired. It was losing energy, even though it was asleep. Which brings another issue. Your pet will not talk to you or anything if it is in bed. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna go around my house and bring a pet out of bed and then put it back every time I wanna change. I like to just have them all sit in bed and then I can play around with them and they'll talk to me. I like that. Plus, how do you burn energy if you are sleeping? Another thing I'm going to mention is that your pet gets hungry way too easily. Holy crap, I lost my balance there. Bring my pet's food all the way up to 100. Then I would go and play for a couple minutes. I'd play a couple arcade games, visit a few stores like that. I wasn't long. My pet hunger was already down to zero again. I'm not sure if this is a glitch or your pets are just really freaking food hoarders. They're like, this has like, I like chipmunks, they have a secret pouch and when you're not playing with them, they all just like eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Like, what, what is this? Okay, we're getting near the end of this, guys. Next thing I like to discuss is the pet heart. And while it does seem cool, like, yeah, I can fill it up every day, woo. At the end of the day, it goes down a little. That might be cool if you have like 10 webkins, but I have 182 on my account. I'm not gonna go through and fill up all their hearts. That will take hours upon hours upon hours. Might that be fine if you had a couple pets? When you have like over 40 pets, I'm going to say, you can't do it. You just can't keep all their hearts filled. I was under the impression when I first saw the hearts and the family points that you fill up the heart and then after you finish filling it up you get like a certain amount of family points then would go all the way back down. So you wouldn't really be kind of obliged to go ahead and play all the time to keep the hearts up. You could kind of just, I don't know, let them go, which I'm going to do that anyways. You can't do it now, but still it's kind of like a thing and I don't know, it bothers me how the hearts will go down some a little bit so you can quote quote fill them back up tomorrow. I don't want to sign on every day. I have other things to do than to fill up the hearts on 180 pets. Now the biggest change of the site is the layout. Pretty much everything is the same except the layout. I think it would be good if they shrink it down and I know like all these little side textures are cool and all, but I have like a smaller window. <laughs> I don't think that takes up my task bar. Two, and it's not like my computer is set on, oh, giant icons. No, they're set on really small icons. If my computer's at the max resolution it can, mean everything is, it sm is as small as it possibly can be on my monitor, which is the size of an average laptop monitor. So it's kind of like, is Last thing I'm going to talk about is a rumor that I was told. I have not been able to confirm this. There's a rumor that you can only adopt one pet a day. And if so, if that is actually true, which I don't think it would be, then what the heck? I mean, sometimes people get like two or three webkins a day, or they're like me, and they do film adoption videos in bulk, or they film a couple webkins in the adoption video, they don't just do them all singular, and they have someone they, ha they get together with a friend for these, and sometimes it's really hard to get together with a friend. I'm gonna go on to a rant here, but I, I sure hope it's not true. And if I, I, I don't think it is, but it still might be, I don't know. So what is my final thoughts? The site could be better if they fix some of the glitches, 
And even so, I'm not a big fan of it. It's okay. It's not the best thing ever. I definitely prefer the old Webkins. I definitely prefer the old layout. And the things to do menu, I think just it's too big. It takes up too much of the screen. Take up the entire screen, actually. Which is annoying, because the other things to do menu didn't do that. Um, there are some features I like. I think the pet care points are a cool idea. Uh, the layout, I could get used to. But, um... Yeah, there's just too many bugs right now, which I hope they're ironed out. And yeah, I think if they did, the site would definitely be better. Webkins X is okay. It's it's not great. It's not better than the last Webkins, but Webkins X is it's all right. It's not it's not god awful like everyone was making it out to be. Although I've, I gotta admit, my first impressions were god awful. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one later.